When you think of Japan, what comes to mind? Sushi, the Tokyo Olympics, hentai. I don't know about you, but when I think of Japan, I think of words like GTR, 2JZ, and of course, VTEC. Welcome to another episode of In The Headlight, and today we have the pleasure of looking at the latest version of the legendary Honda Civic Type R. To bring us on today's JDM journey, we have Dylan, the owner of this Civic Type R, who has very kindly lent us his car so we can all take a look. Thank you very much for joining us, Dylan. Thanks for having me. We're looking at the 2020 Civic Type R facelifted model. It's imported from the UK and it's based on the 10th Gen Civic. This is the 5th Gen of uh, Type R. It's definitely not a fast car, but it's a car that you can take fast around the corners. That's where the fun is, right? Yeah, for sure. So, out of all the cars that were available on the market, why did you choose to get this one? I was looking for a manual transmission car that was relatively quick. Something that was reliable, something that you could use on a daily basis, a daily driver if you will. Yeah, of course. Other than that, it's, it's a Type R. What else could you ask for? So, Dylan, how long have you owned this car? I own this car about six months now. So, in about half a year of ownership, what do you think has been your favourite feature on the car? Uh, the aggressive styling. Look at that hood scoop. Carbon, plastic, <laughs> front splitter, big brake kit, Brembo stock from factory, your white bodies. Yeah, speaking of stock from factory, I mean, just look at these rims. It's 20 inch rims standard on a Honda from the factory. A couple of years ago, they've been just wild. You feel every single bump on the road with this tiny tyre profile and 20 inch rims. I mean, when your car is the Nürburgring lap record holder for front wheel drive cars, I think it's kind of the trade off you have to make. Definitely. Still would buy this car any day. <laughs> so, uh, another interesting thing about the Type R. The FK8. Uh, these are vortex generators, so they disrupt the wind and they cut through this big GT wing. Yeah, I think one of the big talking points when this car came out was the styling. It was very polarizing between people who said, you know, it was too much, it doesn't look like Honda anymore, there's no you know, clean lines, but personally, I think all this kind of works for me. Honda Type R is supposed to be, you know, the, um, the biggest boy racer version there is, and I think nothing else says it more than all these wing bits. And if you come down here, I mean, one of my favourite things about this car, obviously having the turbo engine now, is this triple exhaust with the uh, wastegate pipe, I believe, in the middle. It just looks cool. So now we're looking at the interior of this Honda Civic Type R, and I think the thing that stands out the most, is immediately obvious, are these very red seats. These are half bucket seats from Honda, factory stock. So they're very, very comfortable. You know, they are made from Alcantara. Every surface you touch in the car is Alcantara from the steering wheels to the side trims. Even your centre console has a bit of Alcantara there. The whole car feels very premium. And I can see it from where I'm standing. See it staring right at me. The shift knob for the six-speed manual gearbox. That's, uh, that's not factory, it's the Poco. So it just, it just makes your troll feel shorter. It doesn't make my shifts any faster, it just feels <laughs> nicer. <laughs> to think that many years ago, Type R was about weight savings. Wireless charging. Yeah, wireless charging, dual climate control, <laughs> digital gauge cluster. Yeah. But I mean, you can't really have a daily car these days, you know, without stuff like that. I mean, as a four-door sedan, how the rear seats? Personally, I've sat behind, very comfortable, even though it's a Type R. Uh, centre seat, not so functional because there's no seat belt and you have a centre tunnel that's very high. So usually I won't put people in the centre. I would say this car is maybe a four-seater. The centre bit is just for a bit of luggage, you know. Grocery. Can you imagine Type R as a grocery getter? <laughs> Who'd have thunk it, you know? Functional Type R. I think the only thing left is to see how she drives. I'm not going to tell you how fast we were going because I like my license, but <laughs> I can see the potential. I can see why this is the front wheel drive record holder at the Nürburgring. I can see why almost every, every motoring publishing house has raved about this car. Steering feel, excellent. Brake feel, excellent. Easy to heel toe. Turn in, excellent. 
the steering rack it's so fast it's so fast it's so direct um grip it's a bunch of grip and there's a whole lot of grip <laughs> you're not going to be running out of grip anytime soon lsd you can feel it pulling you out of the corners power is definitely there um you don't have to be you know way up in the VTEC band um for for your power to come in anymore it's a different experience but it's not a bad experience not in the slightest what a car there's just something about the name Honda something about the term Type R it's just a badge that exudes performance and glad to say it's continued in this car what a fantastic experience and thank you so much to Dylan for letting us have this experience hey no worries bro anytime I might take you up on that offer <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much for watching this episode of In The Headlight I'm Aiden, and be sure to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one Motorist.